Hey guys, I'm Kate Simsley, and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I'm glad you're back, and if you're new here, welcome in. So today we are building a mid-century family home. So this home is mid-century style. It's got a lot of bedrooms and quite a few bathrooms. It's like five bedrooms and two bathrooms, I think, if I'm remembering right. Well, it's like four bedrooms and an office, but it can easily be five bedrooms if that's what you need. Um, it is a bungalow with a basement, and it's got a pool in the backyard. It is a pretty good size. I'm happy with the way it's turned out. It has a nice size dining room, a living room, and yeah, a lot of bedrooms. So you're going to watch this come together. I can't talk through this entire video, as I do have a meeting in about 15 minutes. But I'm hoping that you'll enjoy this. I did cut out a lot of little footage. Like, I just saw the outside of this come together really quick. This video is still relatively long. I think it's like 25 minutes. But, like, the footage before, when I had whittled it down, we were still at, like, 45 minutes an hour. And I'm like, hey, that's too long for one video. And me not talking. <laughs> so I did cut quite a few things out. But... You get the gist of it. It's mostly there. I just kind of like putting clutter and all that. Sorry if that's what you like, but it is not in this video. However, you'll see here that I'm creating the pool in the backyard, and it's pretty simple. It's just a little rectangular pool, and there's a deck all the way around it. We've also got like a little carport off to the side of the house here, and we're going to do a very, very simple garden. There's not a lot of landscaping. I do end up putting a fence around the lot, as well as some hedges. And I think it comes together really nicely. Honestly, when this is done, it is probably... I say, I say this all the time. Like, I'm, I, I don't know what I'm doing. But it is really one of my favorite builds. I think it's adorable. And I love it. So hopefully you will be... Will, wow, what am I saying? Hopefully you will love it too. Um, If you do... Give the video a thumbs up. Helps me out. Just makes me happy, of course. And let me know in the comments what you think of this. I always love hearing from you guys. Or if you have any ideas of future builds. Like, I am struggling for inspiration lately. I've been working, like, non-stop all the time. Fighting with my kids' school non-stop all the time. And so, like, my inspiration is at an all-time low. I've just kind of been struggling in everything. Honestly, to be honest with you, I've just been struggling. I've been really depressed and just feeling down, and I have not been into doing much of anything, especially with The Sims. I have built a lot of things, and they're sitting there waiting to be edited, so they are coming, but they're all pretty much the same, and I'm getting sick of it. So if you have any unique ideas, I'd love to hear them. Maybe they'll inspire me. Um, I'm not going to promise that I'll do them, but I will try. I will use them for when inspiration strikes. But yeah. I don't know. That's about it. Like, I, I honestly, I don't, I don't know what to say. It's been a rough go lately, but I am trying to get back at it and just get my life organized. It's been a mess. I don't even know what to say. Like, my kids went back to school and I was super excited because I'm like, I'm going to have all this time to myself. I haven't had a minute to myself. Like, I haven't been able to breathe. It's been nonstop work and nonstop. I'm trying to clean and organize my house. I've got way too much stuff. So I'm trying to go through it and get rid of it all. I don't know. Anyway, you'll see that I'm going to start by putting the kitchen as the first room off the living room. That's going to change, just so you know. I end up moving it to the back of the house. And it looks much better there, but I want to warn you now, so that you're not just all of a sudden like, how did the kitchen get here? Like, what just happened? That's what happened. I did cut it out, though, because I literally just picked the room up and dropped it at the back and moved the one from the back to the front. So yeah, just so you know, that's going to happen. The, initially, the kitchen was going to be right here, but I'm going to end up changing it. You will watch the kitchen come together. Listen, I redid the kitchen like 27 times. I couldn't decide what stove to use, what fridge to use, none of that. So I did switch it around a bunch of times. I changed everything. So this part of the footage is an absolute mess. But as I said, you get the gist of it. So yeah, I've been fighting with my kids' school nonstop. My son is disabled. And honest to God, I have no idea what he does at school every day. He can't talk. He's nonverbal. He's autistic. And he's also got um, a disorder. It's called partial trisomy 18. It's a genetic, well, it's a genetic disorder um, where he has a large duplication on his 18th chromosome. So he can't talk at all. And you would think that if a kid couldn't talk, the school would talk for him in some sense. They would tell you at least what's going on. I know nothing, so I finally lost my shit, 
part of my language on the school the other day. And I told them, this is ridiculous. I have no idea what my kid does. And I'm, I want to be a part of his education. Like, it's stupid. It's not even just that. You know, like, they keep telling me they're using these technology-assisted communication devices. So I go out and buy these devices. I've spent ridiculous amounts of money on things like a tech talk and an iPad and things I don't want. And my son won't touch them. He's not using them. They're not helping. So, like, are they working at school? What's going on? Turns out, no, they're not working at school. They've stopped using them. No one tells me anything. So I finally lost my mind. And now I have a meeting with the school next week about him so that we can figure out something better. My problem is I started sign language with him when he was very small. And it's the only thing in his entire life, like I'm not even being dramatic, it is literally the only thing that we've ever had any instant success with. Like it took me two years to get the kid to clap his hands, but I taught him two different signs in one day. And he learned them and he used them, no problem. Things were going really well. But I, brought, I was all excited. I brought it up to the school. They wanted nothing to do with it at all. Nothing. They like totally shot it down. Made me feel like a total idiot. And it's never, ever been brought up again. And so I tried all their little devices. None of them have worked. And finally, I'm like, no, you know what? You're going to do it my way. And so that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go in this week and lose my mind again. Be that Karen. I guess I have to be. But yeah, so that's that's kind of been going on. Um, I've been working nonstop trying to just get by. Like, life has gotten really expensive. Inflation. Like, I know it happens. But this is really the first time in history where, like, you're literally seeing it happen. The cost of groceries alone, feeding myself, feeding my kids is getting to be impossible. And so I've been working really hard to try and make ends meet. And so that's been taking up a lot of my time. And I'm just, yeah, on top of that, there's depression and anxiety and just, just endless stress. Never mind the fact that winter's coming and I'm feeling it. Like, it's already getting cold here. So that does not help. I have very serious seasonal depression. The minute it's, like, below 20, I'm miserable. And so I've been fighting myself to try and get myself out of a rut. And, uh, yeah, it hasn't been easy. So, yeah, that is me summing up my life for you. Depressing. I know. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. The kitchen came together, as you saw there. I moved it to the back of the house, and here we are. We're going to throw the dining room together, and then we're going to move on into the living room before we put together all these freaking bedrooms. It's a huge house. But, like, it's not, because it's a bungalow, and it's laid out pretty well. So it doesn't seem very huge, but it, it's a lot. I don't really love decorating big houses. So for me, this was quite a feat. Anyway, it is mid-century style, so I kind of kept it like... The furniture style inside is like 60s, 70s-ish. And I kept to that theme throughout. It's kind of got a color scheme with like oranges and blues and yellows. Hopefully that works for you. I think it turned out good. You can always change it. It's not a big deal. But this will be on the gallery. And my ID, as well as like the link to the build and all my socials, will be in the description below. But I'm going to go. Like I said, I have an appointment in shortly. About 10 minutes now. And so I'm going to go do that and get this all edited and up on the gallery for you. And I don't really have anything else to say. Have a spectacular day. I'm going to play some music and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!
fighters You got me dancing in your store Or I'm looking like a breeze But really you're a forest fire oh, Looking like a breeze But really you're a forest fire oh, Looking like a breeze But really you're a forest fire
of emotions Zone is on the line You wanna pick a fight with it Everything seems so good I guess I can't help myself Would you call me? Cut 